Hi everyone and welcome to And So On. My name is Lisa and today I'm gonna to take you one euro thrifting with me in Barcelona. I'm going thrifting! So there is a chain of thrift shops called Umana here in Spain and there are probably about seven or eight of them in Barcelona and every once in a while they have a day where everything in the shop goes down to one euro. So I'm going to take you along with me as I go thrifting. I will have my mask on and I will be cleansing um, but I am so excited. I'm going to give you some of my top tips and tip number one is get on the email list or in this case the SMS list of whatever thrift shop is thrift shop is near you. Um, I got on their email newsletter, but also I could check off to get text messages when there were sales. And so this morning I got a text message that, um, that they were down to one euro and I've been waiting, I've been watching. It's been five euros and then four euros and three and then two and I knew it was coming and here it is. So I'm going to hop on the train and head into Barcelona and go and get some one euro deals. So what am I gonna be looking for today? I am looking for fabrics. I am looking for natural fibers. I'm gonna be looking for cotton, linen, silk. I'm gonna be looking for patterns. I'm gonna be looking for things that I can wear, but also things that I can flip. So that's one thing that when I'm shopping that I always try to do is look for quality fibers because that almost matters more than the style because then I can just use the fabric and make something fabulous. So we took the train from Sitges into Barcelona, which takes about 45 minutes to an hour, depending on how far into the city you're going. There's three or four stops within the city. And of course, it goes right by the ocean, which is lovely. The sea, so beautiful. And then when we came up, we had to walk, oh, probably about a half a kilometer to the first one. And because of the limits on how many people you can have in the stores right now, there was a lineup outside. So we did have to wait about 10 minutes. But the good thing is, once we were inside, we were weren't you know too crowded and we could really take our time so we did get um, I think about seven or eight things at the first location and then we went to a second location and got another little chunk and then we kept walking through sort of the older part of Barcelona and we came up upon our last one which was specializing in only vintage clothes so this whole store was vintage and everything in the store was three euros which was quite amazing so many beautiful patterns and styles the only thing is that it was a lot of polyester <laughs> and I just can't wear polyester I just it's so uncomfortable and sweaty and stuff this one was very very cool this was not polyester but also I wasn't sure where I would wear it um, but look at these patterns they were just so great I loved going through them um, this plaid one here that I'm picking up you'll see in a little bit that one did make it into my cart but we literally just took our time and looked through all these beautiful, beautiful designs. After that last one, it was very, very hot and we were quite tired, especially wearing the masks. It made it really, really hot. And so we started to head back to the train station, passing all sorts of beautiful murals and um, beautiful streets, little shops. And there really weren't very many people out because of the situation right now. So it was really quiet. We made it back to the station and grabbed the next train, which only took about 10 minutes or less, and headed back to our little town. It was absolutely a fun day out. Okay, so I am back. I hope that you enjoyed my little montage of my shopping trip in Barcelona. It certainly was an interesting experience. Um, it was my first time back in Barcelona since January, I suppose, uh, maybe early February. And uh, yeah, it was a very interesting experience. So let's hope that there will be many more soon. Okay, so I'm gonna show you everything I got and I'm gonna start off with the things in the one euro shop and then I will move to the vintage shop at the end where everything was three euros. Now, if you wait around to the end, I'm going to do a little uh, lookbook of me wearing the items that are for me. Um, and yeah, but up until then, I'm just gonna show you what I got. So to start off is just a great basic, always a good thing to look for when you're thrifting. Plain gray t-shirt, I'm using it as a PJ top, great condition, one euro, perfect. This is a cropped sweatshirt for my daughter and I love the lace down the front and the French terry. It's super cute and she can wear it to school in the fall. Also for Audrey in the fall is this v-neck sweatshirt with the little patches on the sleeves. It's actually very warm and it will be really cozy for her when she goes back to school. This is another kid's dress. This is a Zara Kids and it's a 13-14 and my girls love it. They're fighting over it already. <laughs> 
This little top, I love the pin tucks in this top. It looks like it's vintage, but actually it's not. It's current, but it's a nice light, light cotton and perfect for a hot summer. This linen top is from Uniqlo and it's 100% linen. I think the reason why it got given away is because it's quite small for being an extra large. And I would more call this a size medium in terms of fit, so that might be why someone decided to give it away. This is a hemp skirt from Zara. It is much too big on me, but there's a ton of fabric in there and it's lined, so I really think that I can use this and make it into something great. If you'd like to see me flip this skirt, please let me know in the comments below. Um, I think there's so much in there, I think I can get a jumpsuit out of it, so fingers crossed. This is just a cute little t-shirt with bicycles. I've actually worn this already two or three times in the week that I've had it. It's not in the greatest condition, but it's so light and comfortable. This shirt is actually also a vintage. It was still one euro. And I got it for my daughter because she is an aspiring astronaut and this has a space theme. And I just thought it was the coolest 70s shirt with a space theme. This is a men's extra large 100% cotton shirt. And of course I love this pattern and I think too I can flip this into something really cute. This is just a plain old t-shirt but it has flamingos on it and I thought it would be great to make into a nightgown for Lily. This is a blue and white mariniere t-shirt and believe it or not, I actually do not have a blue and white striped t-shirt with me here in Spain. This one is just really nice quality jersey. It's from a company called Scotch and Soda Amsterdam, and it's just a really good quality t-shirt that I know I'll get lots of wear out of. This is my first vintage find, and it's just a knit tank top. It's a sweater knit, very, very light, very, very pretty, and yeah, I love that. This is one of my very favorite finds. This is a little dress that I got for Lily. I almost didn't get it because I thought it might be too small, but it fits her perfectly. Look at that smocking. So much work went into that. This is just so beautifully made. I'm gonna show you the back as well because there are buttons down the back. I love the way they offset the top button to cover the button placket. There's also a really nice little belt. It's just adorable. This was so cool, this dress. Now this is one of the only cotton dresses that I could find in that vintage shop. It's from a Danish company called Lisgard. And it, I just love the details on this. I love where the bust is. I love the vents um, in the skirt. I love the side zip. It is just adorable. This one is from the 80s and it actually has shoulder pads and I swore I'd never buy anything with shoulder pads again, but it's really, really sweet. I love the princess seams on the front and then on the back you have a button placket and I just thought in a viscose it was really, really pretty. This one here is the one you saw in the previous video and this is actually a maternity top, believe it or not. You can see prenatal there at the top. I don't know if it's meant to be, I think it's meant to be a tunic because it has the pocket and it's very long, but then the sides are vented. So I think this is meant to be a tunic, really cute. So that's it. Those are all my purchases. I was really, really pleased. Um, I think if it weren't such a hot day and we weren't having to wear a mask the whole time, I probably would have hit one or two more of these shops. But um, it was a very long walk in between and I didn't want to get on the metro. So yeah, so I, I stuck with three and that was great. They do this once a season usually. So I'm sure there'll be another one probably in October, I would guess, something like that. And I always keep an eye out. So if you enjoyed seeing me thrift and you'd like like to see more videos like this please do let me know in the comment section below please give this a like it really really does help publicize my channel it's such a huge help and if you are not already a subscriber please subscribe I post once or twice a week mostly about sewing and occasionally about thrifting okay I'll talk to you guys soon I hope you're well bye bye